Okay, this is a very special one I'm doing here. Somebody who's very, very good to me. I want to say thank you very much. Uh, this is May the 3rd, 1961, at 11.10 a.m. And we are in Shreveport, Louisiana. My son went to the Shriners there for years. Very familiar with that city. Uh, it's also my route from Alabama to the reservation. I would drive that back and forth quite a bit. Let's go find the sun. You are an Aries. And uh, looks like Mercury's almost combust. It's on the line. So a problem with communication there. This sign is ruled by Mars, the planet of action. Uh, above this, this eye right here is called the first sign. And this uh, triangulum up here is very important in alchemy and in all of the mystery schools, especially the Zionist. This is the Jewish New Year. They start theirs here. Uh, I guess we observe it in the form of Passover, but that calendar is locked, so it's not where it should be. Most people born this time of the year think they're a Taurus, and in Western tradition, you are. But in this one, you're an Aries, which is a fire sign. This ugly little thing up here, the Algol, I call it the Algol Rhythm. It's Medusa's head, but you're not under that, so no worries there. Let's prance around. Let's do this first. And I'll have this one. I'm just not getting this right. I need here. We don't need all that information up there. Mars in Cancer. And this would be your planet of birth that rules your sign is in a water sign. Uranus, the planet of outer transformation, moving into Leo, the sign of the sun, uh, which this is a fire sign, Aries and Sagittarius. So this is your other fire sign. You have fixed, mutable, and cardinal. So change, change, change in the background in your life. Uh, the moon in Ophiuchus, which would have been Scorpio in your chart. Saturn moving into Capricorn with Jupiter. Isn't this interesting? Because you're coming up on a Saturn return in about two years. Saturn's over here where the moon is right now. Saturn's about right here in the knee of Ophiuchus. And um, coming, this looks like almost a 2020 chart coming up because that's about exactly where they'll meet is in the head of the goat in the Arabic. Let's take a look at that in the Arabic. Because you're going to have this play out again in your life very soon in the next few years. And you're actually born with it. Yep, that's exactly where you'll you hit your Saturn return in 2020. Because that is the exact spot, I shit you not, of where Jupiter and Saturn will meet in 2020. And you have both of them there. Your Jupiter, or your church, speaks as a goat, but it thinks as a Saturn. It thinks as a goat. It speaks as a goat. Uh, you have a lot of power going on there, uh, and that is Cardinal Earth. And you are a fire sign. Let's move on through. 
Venus, your love is in Pisces, another water sign, which is going to connect. Well, here it's got, in this one, your Mars is in Gemini. So let's take a better look at some of these stars. No, can't grab that one. Got that one. Cancer on that one. Cancer on that one. So yes, Cancer. You're uh, definitely Mars and Cancer. Uranus moving to the heart of the lion. Your Virgo is clean. I bet your Pluto is going to be over here in Leo. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yes, your Pluto is in Leo. So your, yeah, your sign, your planets of inner transformation and outer transformation are both in a fire sign. They're both in Leo, which is triangulated to Aries and Sagittarius. And what did we have in Sagittarius? Nothing but nothing. Okay, it's all over in Capricorn. And you're going to be dealing with this again. So whatever was going on um, before you were born is going to repeat in the next three years in your life. Tough lessons to learn with Saturn right there. I mean, you must be a deep thinker. Especially being an Aries, which is fire in the mind. I can imagine what goes on in your head. Uh, here, your balance is Venus. Venus in water. Mercury so close to the sun. Let's find out where the water is. Speaking of water, let's look up good old Neptune, the god of the seas. Let's see his influence on Venus. Mm. Uh, that's understandable. Venus rules earth signs and um, Neptune water and you have water and earth and earth and water. Does that make sense? Virgo is mutable earth and you have water here. I just done a chart with this that had this Neptune here and I call it a muddy mess because the water from Neptune will make uh, the mutable earth it's miry clay. It's going to make it like wet, wet clay. And the other chart had air to dry that out. You, on the other hand, have fire. You have fire. You have fire in your speech. You have Jupiter in the throat of the goat, and you have Mercury over here in Aries. So you, you think, you, do you think out loud? Do you think out loud to yourself when no one's around? You have a very, a voice in your head, maybe. Do you hear yourself think? Is that what this is? That's very interesting. I've never thought about it like that before because Mercury is communication. And we just came out of a Mercury retrograde. I would be curious to look at uh, your full chart and see what planets are in retrograde for you. And I used to do them that way. And bless your heart, you tried to help me get back to that point, and I'm getting there. I've got this computer up and running now, and I hope to be able to get a bigger subscription and some more programs and information so that I can go back to those extended charts to where I can go into it and show you your retrogrades and what they mean and all of that. But I'm in a much better place now. And uh, I'm not being micromanaged like I was. So I have freedom to to be myself and not what I'm expected to be or thought I should be. So things should start improving a lot more rapidly. And I do appreciate what you did. Uh, this moon in Ophiuchus. Uh, this is where the moon was the day they done the reset to get her ritual. Uh, back in, was it September of 2016? Yeah, that's where the moon was the day they did that ritual. So that should give you a general idea that it's a very powerful day. It's a very powerful day for moon magic. Uh, 
hit me an email and I'll send you a copy of the Picatrix, which is that moon magic, and it will tell you the Lord of that house. But the Lord of that house, ironically enough, is going to be um, the third Lord of Scorpio. It'll be the final house of Scorpio. Is is um, and that I doesn't come to mind, and I don't have it on this computer. I need to get more resources, like I said, and get every, all my ducks in a row, and I can do much better videos. But this right here, if you'll go back to um, events in 2017, I bring up the conjunction in 2020 and show this picture, that this is what's going to happen, uh, where Saturn will be, and that will be your Saturn return. So you need to look up Saturn return. Your, your Pluto is fine in Leo. you got a lot of outer transformation that's going to have to do with the sun and fire. Um, uh, that voice, that Jupiter in the throat of the goat. Very interesting. Especially how it's connected to this over here. That, um, I can't, yeah. There we go, we get them both in there. And Venus in the middle. I could probably sit and look at that for a couple of hours and all kind of stuff would come to me, especially with that sun in your mind. You have Saturn and Jupiter in your knees. In your knees. You, you, I would say you are extremely stable, sure-footed for an Aries big thinker. It's all in your head. Everything is in your mind. You could probably manifest. I do believe that's what I'm looking at, is someone who could manifest by sheer will and thought. I don't even think a ritual or anything would need to be involved. That's pretty heavy duty. Fire and earth. And your water and your earth are backwards. Water and earth backwards. A lot of mud, a lot of change. Change in the mind. And this Pluto Uranus in another fire sign. That's just uncanny there. And then you have your Saturn return coming up. And I've already done that date. Let's see if I can pop there real quick. Um, bring it down. There we go. Let's get it back over here. Let's go to 2020. Here, just to leave. There's Saturn and Jupiter right back at that spot. And that's what's going to happen on that day. Huh. And then Jupiter will move over. And we can actually see. Move Jupiter to the throat. They're moving together. Huh. That's interesting. You're going to have everything going on. Repeating. Everything in your birth chart is going to repeat. In 2020. We're going to have this. It's going to repeat this year. This is very interesting. I might have to do another video on on this 2020 and show this. The last group uh, I did were all about Earth, and this it's all about fire. 
this group of videos is. This is very interesting how they're grouping up together in patterns. We're separated. Thank you so much.